gonna give you a twirl. I'll twirl the other way. <laughs> Just showing off and why not? So if you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. My channel's all about upcycling fashion and I do them on a Wednesday and on a Friday I do my outfits of the week where I show you how I style my different outfits with garments that I have refashioned, garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn along with some ready to wear pieces. So if you are into that sort of thing it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. It's the start of the week and I am kind of matching the weather because it's still in grey. <laughs> so I'm in tones of grey and black. Um, the skirt is a refashion project. I love. The only thing I don't like about this skirt is the pockets. But I talk about that in the video so I'll put a link to that in the description so that you can go ahead and watch that. So yeah this detail here. So nice. So this is actually the back of the skirt which is now the new front and I'm wearing it with my jeweled polo neck. I'm trying to do a half top thing here but it's not happening because it's so short, it's so short in the, in, in the body so. Uh, uh. Yeah there we go. <laughs> it's not going to stay like that though. Let me just give you a little twirl. I'm wearing it with a man's jacket. Yeah, I was thinking about belting it in, but I'll do that on another occasion. Because I could put a, a black belt around it. But the side is, I just want to feel a bit, I just want it to hang loose, really. That's the look I'm going for today. I'm going to be teaming it with this black scarf. First scarf that I've had for ages and does the job of keeping my neck warm. Like so. Just have some of the jewels poking through there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that looks nice. Got that balance there. And then I'm going to go for my velvet bag. Yeah. I'm just going to have it as a clutch. Yeah, so I've got my knee high boots on which are black and suede, so that suede brings in the velvet clutch and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Yeah, so that's my outfit for today. I'm having a little bit of a glamorous day today. Um, the dress is from the CGL collection and the Obi belt is a refashion project. I'll put a link to that tutorial below the in the, in the description. Got it out eventually. And yeah, it's it's a bit sparkly, but even though I'm wearing it during the day, that doesn't matter. Sparkles are not just for the evening. Um, like I said, it's a dress that I have made and had it for quite a while as well. I haven't worn it in a while. This is the first time I've worn this, I believe, yes, since I'm um, refashioned a mini skirt into this belt. And yeah, it goes well, it looks nice. Quick flash around the back. And I kind of, I'm going to kind of like bring down the dressiness of it down a little bit by wearing a man's oversized jacket, which is here. I'm going to wear it like a cape. There we go. I'm dressing it down just a bit. The choker is something I've also made as well. And my choice of footwear which is like ankle boots, the sock type ankle boot, um, which has got a harness detail to it, also brings the look down a notch. Um, so if you're worried about wearing a little bit of glitz and glamour during the day, don't. You can always add things to your outfit in order to get that balance right. And the bag I'm gonna go for is going to be this bag. 
my paper bag with a bit of gold in there. That follows bits of gold that is in the actual open belt and also my earrings. So I'll bring the camera down in a moment so you can actually see my footwear and see how that looks. A super casual day. A super casual day. Um, I'm doing something I don't usually do, which is I'm wearing leg not leg warmers, leggings. I'm not a great lover of wearing leggings casually, um, but I just love the colour of these. They're kind of like a, a dual tone green, um, a racing green kind of colour. And I'm picking up those that colour from my oversized man's tank. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I just thought I'd try something different today. Um, so it's a super casual day, like I said, but I am going to kind of give it a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to update it, not update it, I'm going to give it a little bit more chic to it, a bit more Colleen. So, I've got this gorgeous fur, this fur collar. I love this buckle that it's got on there. So I'm going to put that in like so. Oh, I feel so nice and warm as is it already right now. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just tilt it to one side. Oh, yes. Oh. That's looking good already. And yes, I've got a jumper on that's kind of really too short. And it's also got this interesting sequin made detail on there as well. Put that, but it's, it's warm, it's, <laughs> it's warm. And that looks good. And I've only got one earring in. So only because I've only got one earring on, I should say. Um, I didn't because I've lost the other one. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I've been doing that for years where I'll always lose one of my earrings and I just bought the one that I've got. Okay, so there we go. And I'm going through wearing a bag, crossbody bag. And I've gone for grey, this kind of metallic grey. Crossbody like so. Now I feel a little bit more comfortable now. It's all right to experiment sometimes when it's a little bit out of your comfort zone and this outfit is really, more so with the, with the leggings, with the the tank top, you know, and the jumper, and this the collar. Oh, it's gorgeous, wow. Anyway, and then I am going to, I, I, do, I think I do have some green gloves, but I'm gonna go for purple because there's undertones of purple within this top. So if you're not a person who likes to wear a lot of colour, then as I've said before, then accessories is the way to go. So if you can see a colour within the outfit, especially if you're doing a monotone outfit, then choose that colour in your accessories just to lift it slightly. And I'm going for the same top where I wore yesterday, which are these ankle boots. And yeah, I'm ready for the, day, for the day to keep nice and snobbly warm, even though I really don't have anywhere to go today. But I will definitely be wearing this because it's so small. But this is what I do anyway, so I'm going to bring the camera down so that you can see the bottom half of me and how I look. See these are my leggings, footwear. inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas for upcycled fashion. If you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform where there are three different levels. Check the description and I hope to see you there. Let's get back to the video. Still with a bit of 
glitz and a little bit of glamour, a little bit of glitz and a little bit of glamour. That's in my outfits for this week. The top is something that I've designed, patterned and also sewn in stain with the pants. Um, it's just very casual, but I'm going to jazz it up a little bit by wearing this sleeveless jacket, which is a refashion project. And when I actually did the project, I wasn't 100% happy with it. I just had to make some subtle changes, which was the lapel. Um, but I just love what I did with this as the original belt and I added this, that was from another project, as a new belt and the cold, it, it, it was the reveal here that was something I wasn't totally happy with so I decided that I need to just wiggle about with it a little bit. So what I did was, here's the jacket at the back, let me just, excuse me a moment, it's invisible you see, it's invisible that's the reason why I couldn't see it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, so, that's, so that is what I was looking for and I like the peak, the little peak of my um, choker, oh that looks so nice. And these lines, these black lines that are running through the garment. It's just gorgeous, it's just very simple and gorgeous. I was thinking about changing out these buttons, maybe not have flat buttons, but have a shank button. Um, so that may still happen. Let me just show you the back again. I just like the back. And what am I gonna team it with? So I've got silver jewelry on my earrings. Um, I'm just gonna go for a clutch. One oh. I'm gonna go for it, keep keeping with the theme. So I've got this clutch and yeah, feel very how oh, what's the word? Ready for a day's work. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> so I'll bring you down so you can have a look at the bottom half of me. I'm wearing these block heel shoes that you've seen a few times and double strapped so that kind of pulls in with the idea of my jacket just kind of pulls it together and the clutch bag is just picking up from the sleeves so yeah that's my outfit for today the final outfit of the week is this gorgeous beauty and this is part of the CDL collection I designed it I pattern drafted it and I also sewn it. The blouse and also the skirt. Let me give you a twirl. I'll twirl the other way. <laughs> Just showing off and why not? Yeah, this has been a long time in the making. I started this roughly about this, this time last year. And I have talked about this on my uh, live um, because I was actually doing some hand sewing on this while I was going live. If you want to check the, my live videos, I'll put those in the description below. And yes, yeah, so it's finally completed. Finally completed. The skirt was completed ages ago. I just haven't finished. I didn't finish the blouse because I was in two minds. I did have. What happened is with the buttons, as you can see, there is not. I did buy some like iridescent, irid, iridescent, iridescent. Oh, whatever the word is, <laughs> um, buttons, um, which had like purples and navy blues in, in, in the actual flat button. And I cannot remember where I have put those buttons. I really can't. Um, and then I found some shank buttons and they were kind of like midnight blue, which is this, this is, I know it looks black, but it's actually a midnight, midnight blue. And I was playing, toying around with the ideas, thinking it's it's they're pretty buttons, but I didn't want to do, to take away from the blouse, if that makes sense, the shape and so I decided, you know what I'll do? I'm going to do some press studs or snap button, snap fixed, snap what's the word? Fastenings. 
Oh gosh, come on Colleen. Snap fastening, it's a Friday, <laughs> what can I say? Snap, snap mass fastenings. So I've actually got snaps on here and no buttons. I don't think it was ever meant to have buttons. Yes, um, and I could have had it finished ages ago if that was the case. And this gorgeous skirt, is, um, it's got pockets, but you can see my hands through the pockets. And yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's a set, and basically what ties them together is basically, it's just a trim. Because the same trim that's on here, you can just about see, it's also around the pockets, the, the, the waistline, the hemline of the skirt. So yeah, it's, it's cool. Let me know what you think, whether you, you like this or not. I will not be offended if you don't, trust me. <laughs> I won't be, seriously, I won't be. Um, so yeah, so I'm teaming it with my dangler earrings because I also make these as well. So I thought I'd just go the full, the full hog as they say. And yeah, so what I'm going to team this with is my clutch bag, the velvet one. And that's because it's dense in colour. Is why I'm choosing that. So yeah, this is my outfit for today. And I'm wearing it with ankle boots, peak toe ankle boots. And yeah, that's it. Just look at this collar, it's so cute. I'm actually thinking about whether I should do a tie. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Let me know in the comments if you think I should. Just love this fabric. enjoy my outfits of the week then please leave a comment a like and below the like is the subscribe button oh, I'd be so excited if you actually clicked on that and join my community and yeah do do share this it's important that you do share because it, it does help my channel to grow um just let me know what outfits you like um that I wore this week <laughs> and uh, yeah well thank you for watching and I'll see you next time